guys so today i'm going to deconstruct this monstrosity here look at that <laughs> it's an 80s intercom for a door or a gate <laughs> cue the 80s techno music <laughs> I actually tried to call someone up that still services these. He basically told me that he'd uh, just recently got rid of a thousand of them and I was devastated because I would love to sit here scrapping out all these every single day. I saw the boards going for about 200 online, but you know, from what he says, they're not worth too much anymore. But there's always some gold in there. I love old appliances because they always layer on the gold nice and thick. They had no lasers or anything like that. They could just flash the gold on. So it's always gold plated, which is better for us e-wasters. I'm just going to take this apart today, see what goodies are inside. <laughs> All right, guys, this is going. So like I say, with all of it, always find the screw points. I mean, look at that. <laughs> Valet VM2000. Guarantee I'm going to smash this up and someone's going to come to me and say I would have bought it for $300. <laughs> Looks to be like gold contacts. Rusty looking screw there. Let's take that off. I love stuff like this. Just peculiar stuff. I took apart a hoverboard as well. I wish I was doing YouTube when I did that because you guys would have loved that. I love E-Waste Ben's channel as well because he's always taking apart interesting things and there's some things that he's taken apart and I've gone, thank God I've watched that because I would have just left him on the side of the road instead of picking him up and making some money. No, I'm just going to get his screw out. <laughs> Did not want to go anywhere. Look at that one off. Yeah. So yeah, this is old appliances, you know, you just got the screw. It's really old school. <laughs> Not uncover the secrets of the 80s in this. <laughs> Find Michael Jackson or something. <laughs> Missing glove. <laughs> yeah, because apparently everyone was obsessed with these in the 80s. That's what the woman was telling me. But no, they don't like them because, you know, people want to see your face. <laughs> and you've got mobile now. And you can just do a video call. These are obsolete. Whoa. Oh, look at that. Look at this beast. <laughs> It sort of just looks like really mid-grade to me, but it's a nice sized board. And look, I think those are pins as well, so you'd say it's a mid-high. I haven't seen like a nice board for a while that's nice and high grade. But yeah, that's not shabby. It's okay. There's a few capacitors and a few old IC chips. You know, they're a bit funky. <laughs> the big bell. <laughs> you know, the speaker. <laughs> Michael Jackson's at the door. <laughs> These actually aren't too bad. I like to keep the big ones like that because they're very handy. Well, I'm just going to take it all out so you remember where it all is. And then I'm just going to show you after what we've got. Okay, guys. So I've took it apart. These are some of the boards i got in them. Just going from this one. Just some basic button boards, you know. Oh, yeah, just a little bit of gold flashing as well. Not too bad. They could flash in the 80s. <laughs> they were good flashes. It's got these little knobs there as well. Reminds me of a hi-fi board. You know, we took one of them apart, but don't take hi-fis apart because they're actually worth some money. Some of the old ones. Next, so sort of just basic mid-grade. Just got your basic IC chip, a big dial there on the back. Not too much going on. So I just say it's a very average mid-grade, probably even like lower mid-grade. That's definitely low grade, the high end. There we go. There, so that's mid-grade flashed board. Still low grade mid though, because there's no IC chips or anything. And the back's like a 70s brown. <laughs> There's not too much gold in that. Still cool to look at though. These are the better ones here. See? It's moving up. So you've got the basic IC chip there. Nice and long. So you only got some basic IC chips there. I think people call that one a dog tooth. I mean that's got silver in it. I'm not 100% sure though. Let me know what that is guys. And on this board, one of the boards I found some water damage. So I think that's what destroyed the unit. <laughs> it was mid-grade. It's a nice mid-grade board. And this beast. This relic, <laughs> look at that. So many rows of IC chips, which is what we want. A good bit of silver and stuff in there. Now I'm not sure what these are. You guys got any clue in the comments, let me know. I think they're gas or something, but I'm, I'm not 100 percent sure. So yeah, they definitely look a lot different to the ones the boards we've got nowadays. Just loads of IC chips. Look at that. Mitchell Bishi Electric. <laughs> and I found this as well. Either someone made a mistake. That's Wong, or there was an Asian guy trying to maintain this board. <laughs> what I like the most as well on this is these contacts. I checked it with a magnet, and it wasn't sticking. So I think they're gold-plated. Could be wrong there, but let me know in the comments. Nice and gold-plated. So yeah, look at that. I see chips. And the nice gold-plated thing on the end, which is cool. Probably the best part of the whole thing. The main processor board. And the back. Yeah, you just got your basics there. Just soldering. <laughs> and these things. To keep it up. And just some IC chips. 
And let's see, you can see where it's fraying a bit there. I think that's from water damage. That's why the board stopped working. But guys, let me know what the most interesting, unusual old item that you've taken apart is. If you've got a video link, send it to me. That'd be really interesting. Or keep an eye out for these rare sort of items. So if you see an 80s intercom, pick it up because you've got some gold plated things on the end of that. And just some basic boards for a little bit of gold flashing. But the main thing is it's a nice processor board that you're looking for. <laughs> oh, I also got the speaker, which works as a nice magnet. And I got some of these cords. <laughs> but the weird thing was that when I tested the end of these with a magnet, they weren't actually magnetic. So I don't know what that's about. Is it, is it because of the aluminium or something or because of the silver? Let me know in the comments. Okay guys, if you like the video, click subscribe and click the notification bell. If you got any ideas for me, let me know in the comments. Keep getting out there, you gypsy scrappers. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>